Give the love of the Lord throughout the entire world, as we say. Good morning to you live from Los Angeles, California. I'm Brian Hewitt. On behalf of our MCM ministry family, we thank you for joining us and loving us in this day, for this day, on this day, in the master's name of Jesus. We sing to you, O Lord. We sing to you, sing to you of your embrace, of your truth that you brought us through today, guiding us to this everlasting moment. In the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love you. And we come into this day seeking this love, this truth, seeking of this manner that we have bestowed upon us. And we thank you for your love. We thank you for your time. We thank you for the sweet embrace of this day in Jesus' name. This brings us to a strong, strong day here. And we are living for hope, living with hope, blessed by the love of Jesus Christ, guiding us to that sweet embrace. And hopefully any diagnosis that any one of us have articulated, it is the truth. If not, really, God help you. We sing of this glory of God's blessed truth, his love, his truth. Let's get right into to our lesson today. We want um, before we do before we, we want to get to know you, so please get to know us at BrianTewood.com. BrianTewood.com. Our foundation scriptures will be found in First Peter chapter one, three through five. And we shall also be doing some quick tap dancing through the scriptures as always when we get together. Let's go before the throne of God. And just turn up this day. Bless us, O oh Lord, God is Bring your hedge of protection around each and every one of us. Peace throughout the entire world. It is the power of the heavenly inheritance you've guided us to. In Jesus' blessed name, the hope, the faith, the love. Love and love, the greatest gift of all. You know, sprung from you know, the joy, the hope, the faith, the love. In Jesus' name. First Peter chapter 1, verse 3 and 5. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. And that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. Let me say that again. Who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be re revealed in the last time ready to be revealed in the last time we thank you Jesus for blessing the reading of this word God brings us to an incredible moment of our life where the choices are made for us the choices are brought to us but choices are not predestined choices are not predestined we are the recipients of many blessings that God offers to all who will obey and follow Christ. One of those blessings we just, just read in our foundation scripture, 1 Peter chapter 1, 3 and 5. The understanding of this living hope can help the Christians who are pilgrims to be more joyful during their sojourn in, in this life. So if you are turning your life over to God, hopefully some genius out there isn't saying that I need time to think of it. Just pick up the morning headlines, the headlines, see the news during the day, and that's the world we're living in. And we come into this joyous reasoning of our love, of this day, for this day, in Jesus' precious name. Therefore, in this lesson, we shall examine what Peter says about the Christian hope that makes it a living hope. Because God is merciful. It is a good thing that God is merciful. For, for all our sinners in God's sight. All. All of us have. Romans chapter 3 verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All of us. All of us have done that. Even as Christians we find ourselves guilty before God. First John chapter 1 verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Verse 10, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. The basis for our hope lies in the abundance of God's mercy. Mercy bestowed while we were yet sinners. Romans chapter 5, verse 6, for when we were still without strength, and due time Christ died for the ungodly. Sing of this truth. Sing of the Lord. Sing that you are sprung from 
hope, faith, and love. The greatest gifting is love. But we demonstrate his own love toward us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5, verse 8 again. The resurrection of Jesus is crucial to our hope. If Christ is not risen, then the apostles were liars, and, and our faith is, is in vain. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 14 and 15. And if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty, and your faith is also empty. Yes. And we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he did not raise up, if in fact the dead do not rise. If Christ is not risen, we are still held guilty for our sins. If Christ is not, if Christ is not risen, those who have died as Christians have perished. They are lost. Of this merciful, look First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse eighteen. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. Of Christ is not risen, then we do not have a living hope, and said we are to be pitied by others. And verse nineteen of First Corinthians chapter fifteen. In this life, only we ha have hope in Christ. We are of men the most pitiable. And we come of this time sharing of the inheritance, sharing of this time God's endless rhyme. Our hope pertains to that where the defiled are not allowed to enter. Romans 20, Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. But that, but that I shall by no means answer of anything that defiles or calls an abomination or lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. We come out of this day to bring peace to you through the blessings of hope, faith, love, to embrace the scriptures that we ask you to pray over daily of Galatians chapter 5, 22 and 23, and to those who are still caught up a few verses ahead of that in the lust, the lies, the abominations. You can walk away from that. Yes, it's, some of it sounds fun, but some of it will eventually destroy you. And we come not as performing our, through our day. We come, we come as bringing God's loving truth into this day, our day, for our day, and in this master's beautiful rhyme of ours. We sing, we love, we obey. We seek the truth of his love. We seek the guidance of this day, of the inheritance of his glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to us, O Lord. Come to us and be with us. Guide us into your sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Guide us through this excellent time. God's beautiful truth of his endless rhyme, and to sing, and to grow, and to be the strength that God has always wanted you to be, to sing of his love, to sing of his truth. Brethren, we can change the world in the name of Jesus. We can do this by the power of the word of God. We can do this of the gospel of peace. We can do this by using the gospel as a double-edged sword piercing and exposing the lies of Satan. And with this time, we seek of the abundance of his truth, we seek of the abundance of his grace, we go into the knowledge of the Lord, and we take the expressed loving time that God has for each and every one of us, and to move into the creation, God's creation. And we do this by being a witness to others as others were a witness to us. You do remember that day. And that day is, you're going to help someone right now to bring two to three of your unsaved friends, acquaintances to these broadcasts so they can share in the inheritance of the glory of God. To go with us, to guide with us, and flow with us in Jesus' precious name. We come to you every day and giving you a new message of truth. The morning time 
evening time, afternoon time. We are flowing with the Lord Jesus Christ. We are flowing in the Master's name of Jesus. Guiding you to the embrace. Guiding you to the sweet measure of truth. It comes with a, start, a starting point where we move into this time. To be redeemed. To focus on our reality of our redemption with God. Let's move. Let's turn our life over to God. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Repeat this after me, please. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that, that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin except Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. And I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life, fill me, and take control, and to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, man, for bringing us forward. That's my wife praising him in the background. I am lifting him before the heavenlies. Most important, God's glory angels are singing your name before, before the throne of God. So whether it's evening time or morning time, wherever you are living or afternoon time, well done indeed, brothers and sisters. You have turned your life over to the Lord. Now your first offering is the offering of obedience. To get yourself into a faith-based, spirit-led church, midweek Bible study, Sunday service of the saints, Fellowship, 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 ironing, sharpened irons. And of this day, for this day, brings us to your moment. Yet I share from you from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6. In this, the living hope that pertains to the salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials. Are you living the hope? Are you expressing your heart blessed by the living word of God? If not, let's recommit our lives. God is married to the backslider. And let's move into the embrace. Now, as you move into who we are as a ministry and a church called Morning Star Communication or Embassy Ministries, we invite you to become a partner in us. To visit our website again at brian2.com see that we have evangelical teams and medical and translation teams are missionary teams represented over 14 countries we come unto you Lord Lord we come into the sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ we're inviting you to become a financial partner with our ministries and I have a vision from God to show you what your ROI will be return on investment if that needs to be said have faith in God have faith in God back up your back up your faith with works John chapter 4 verse 35 is that guarantee that your harvest is now you don't have to wait four months from now your fields are white and ready for the picking and God's going to prune you and bless you and show you how to use these provisions for his glory from this as we see the vision in John chapter 4 verse 35 we go to the manifestation the living word of God is always currently revealing the manifestation of God's glory. And Malachi chapter 3 explodes above your heads. That the windows of heaven will open up above you, pour down blessings upon you, that you have no room in your storehouse to plant them, to keep them, to save them. In Jesus' precious name. Jesus' precious name. Now there's a couple different journeys you can take to send us your tithes and offerings. One is to visit us again at BrianChewitt.com. Go to the bottom left corner, you see our contact link and our donation link. Our contact link goes send your check payable to that address at Morning Star Communication Network MCM Ministries Morning Star Communication Network MCM Ministries we are a 501c3 certified church here in the United States our donation link will also get your tithes and offerings sent to us and you're going to receive for both journeys <clears throat> after the first of the year in Jesus precious name this is the day the Lord has made for you let us bring the sweet truth and realities of the Lord Jesus Christ to our time, to our love, to our truth, and the truth will set us all free. In the master's name of Jesus, live the hope, live the life. Your life, your blessings are not a dream, but a redemption. Focus in your reality of your redemption with God. In Jesus' name. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Oh, dear Jesus, we love you. Well, our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the living truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the abundance of his grace. We thank you for this time, God's endless remember of his love, to guide us to the sweet embrace of the now of faith. 
For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' precious name, amen. Brothers and sisters, we have concluded this morning's service for this day. We thank you for your time until next time. On behalf of Anita and yours truly, Brian, too, we thank you for your time until next time. Do stay up to date with all of our news and information of exciting crusades coming to your part of the world at BrianTewitt.com. BrianTewitt.com. 2012 can still be the best year of your life. 2013 is yours. Take it. Own it. Live it. Breathe it. In Jesus' name. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir. Adios. Good day. For the people.